Anita Graf, thank you so much for joining me today for a quick conversation and promotion of our Arkansas Philharmonic upcoming concert on October 13th, Fashioning America, where you'll be performing the Sensance first cello concerto. I wanted to start off by reading your bio so that everyone can know about your magnificence and fabulousness. Um, I, I asked, by the way, everybody for a shortened bio, so this does not even begin to cover it. But described as a musician of superb artistry who plays with high energy and polish, cellist Anita Graf has earned recognition for her music making as an artist who is equally at home exploring traditional as well as contemporary works along with a deep commitment to service, outreach, and education. Notable appearances include features in Strings Magazine, as well as Carnegie Hall's Weill Recital Hall, the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert Series, and concerts from the Library of Congress. She has performed on various radio networks, including WQXR, WFMT, WGTE, WUOL, WOSU, and NPR. Recent upcoming concerto engagements include her New York debut with the Riverside Symphony, the Louisville Orchestra, Arkansas Philharmonic Orchestra, yay, with appearances at the Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg, Ojai's Chamber Music on the Mountain, Kenyon College, the Nielsen Concert Series, and return appearances to Live from WFMT and Temecula Presents, among others. Anita, thank you so much. Can you expound a little bit on your recent activities? Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's a delight to get to talk to you and I'm really looking forward to meeting you and everyone else in person next week. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to just be coming to Arkansas for the first time to be playing with the APO and I'm just, I'm so excited to, to get to work. Um, so this has been the first season, I think that I could count as like a full season back since the pandemic. And it's, I've really been hitting the ground running both the summer and this fall. Like it's just travel kind of all the time, but that's something that I really enjoy. Um, so I just got back from New York a couple days ago. I was in um, Toronto and some other parts of Ontario the week before that. And it's just been a blast. Like life feels pretty normal again and audiences seem really enthusiastic to be back in the concert hall. So it's just been a complete joy to be sharing music with people in person again. It's like this, irreplaceable feeling that you don't you don't get when you're just playing for the camera so it's just really been a treat to be back on the road again yes it's really fantastic to see the world sort of opening up again uh the the first cello concerto by Sensance, of course is a, a classic would you say um how would you describe kind of revisiting this work and maybe kind of incorporating what you were just mentioning about the world opening back up are there any things that you particularly are looking forward to revisiting um, you know, post pandemic live concert. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm so glad that we're playing this piece specifically just because there's so much joy that's like baked into the fiber of the piece. So it feels like a really great way to like reintroduce ourselves as orchestral players to the audience because it's just going to be basically just fun from beginning to end. And I've had this piece has been in my life for a long time. I think sometimes as cellists, we we discount it a little bit as like a student concerto because we're often very young when we learn it. I think I was maybe 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there the first time I played it. Uh, but like with so many pieces, you come back to them time and time again, and they almost sometimes get more difficult to play because you have more musical ideas to bring to the experience. And there's also like on a technical level, I would never discount it. There's some some fiendishly difficult stuff in the concerto. And but like it's it's so fun and it encapsulates, I think, everything that's great about concerto playing in a minimal amount of time. Um, unlike a lot of other concertos, it has movements, but in this case, they're more like sections because they're played entirely through without break. And unlike many other cello concertos, there's no orchestral in introduction. It just starts with solo cello orchestra and it's kind of like, OK, go. So it's this, this really fun roller coaster ride that happens and you don't really get any time to catch your breath. And I think, especially if this is maybe your first time coming to a concerto um, or an like, orchestra concert, or if you're a student or any other kind of young person who's experiencing this kind of concert format for the first time, I think it's a really friendly introduction just because it has a little bit of something for everyone. And I think it, it leaves the audience wanting more. The other pieces on the program will feature John Williams, A Prayer for Peace. 
uh, as well as Barbara Harbach's American Solstice. So it really promises to be a great program. And um, we're really excited, Anita, that it'll be your first time in Arkansas. Are there any things that you have heard about are kind of tourist attractions or things that you personally want to experience during your time in Fayetteville? Well, oh, I'm, well, I'm really excited. I love how many new places I get to go because of music. So I'm already really excited about the venue. Crystal Bridges is like kind of a legendary location. And anytime that different kinds of art can be in conversation with each other, I'm thrilled. So, you know, we're in this place with amazing visual art, but architecturally it's also incredible. And it's kind of complementing all the nature outside and then we're making music. So I'm just like, this is gonna be spectacular because it's everything visual and auditory that you could want coming together. Let's just hope the concert smells great too. Um, so I'm really excited to explore the museum. I also know they have uh, Van Cliburn's piano at the museum. I'm excited to see that. And I'm gonna give a little shout out here. I recently found out that my cousin, who's a painter, Jordan Seabury, has a work in their um, permanent collection. So I'm really excited to go see that. Um, but other, besides that, really looking forward to just getting to know the APO musicians, because I find that people who live in the location you're in are gonna know all the best things to do and see. So I'm really looking forward to have a, basically a whole week to spend there. Well, I know I represent the entire orchestra when I say we are so excited to be collaborating with you and uh, to give you pointers about the best of um, Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas. We can't wait I'll to- I'll be asking for coffee for sure. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you are coming to the right place, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anita, thank you so much for your time and we can't wait to collaborate with you and um, please everybody check out the concert when you have a chance. Oh, thanks. It's been such a pleasure and I can't wait to meet everyone in person next week. <laughs>